I'm just going to do a, kind of a wide portrait here that shows your face in the window and this texture behind you. Okay, so I'm traveling, I'm on the road here in Belgium, and when I only bring two cameras with me, these are usually the two that I bring. Listen to Jan making all that noise trying to ruin my video. Um, I have my Leica MP um, with 28, 50, and 35 millimeter lenses, and then I brought my Pentax 672. Um, it's really nice to have these two different kind of cameras because this one is an SLR and this one is a rangefinder. So it kind of lets you work in two different ways. And then for the Pentax 6.7, my favorite lens is this 75 millimeter 2.8. It's a 35 millimeter equivalent in full frame or 35 millimeter cameras. And I love it so much because you can focus very, very close on it. And that's pretty unusual for medium format cameras to be able to focus that close. Um, and then my other lens is a 105. Um, I think that's about like a 55 or 58 millimeter equivalent. Um, and this one can't focus as close, but uh, it has a very unique look to it. So sometimes I'll use this one as well. Um, for the film that we're going to be using, um, I'm going to be using Portra 800. We're gonna be shooting in a pretty dark little hallway and the colors are just amazing here, and our model has such amazing skin tone and red hair that I think the Portra 800 is just gonna look incredible. So I'm gonna use the Portra 800 in both my Leica and the Pentax for the shoot. And actually, I don't think I have any in the Pentax, so if you need some B-roll of loading that up or something, I'm gonna put some, let's make sure I don't, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> Set my ISO to 800, and oh fuck, I did have film in it. <laughs> right. What what perfect B-roll. Man, what did I have in this? Well, I just popped it open. I guess that's just wasted. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a kind of a wide portrait here that shows your face in the window and this texture behind you. Some areas are very low light, so I took cameras where I know I can handhold them in, in really slow conditions. So it's basically two rangefinders, uh, where the, the shutter is very quiet, silent, in a way also from the vibration perspective. So I can, if I'm careful, I can handhold these to one of a 15th second. And if I lean against the wall, I might even get away with one eighth of a second. So that's the reason I took those. Um, then I took this one, which is a SLR. So it's medium format 645 SLR. And this is like, if I have a little bit more light, this is really nice because I see exactly what I get. The camera is quite quick. I have 16 frames. So this is more like where I really, you know, if I have, if I have enough light, I'll probably use this. Most of the time I have now, a it's uh, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, uh, 55 is sort of like a 35. This is a 35, 
and this is like an 80 which is sort of like a 45 or something like that but i also have for this one the standard lens the 80 and this one I have new, so I haven't used it very much. So this is normally the 80 is the lens, or the 75 is actually the one I'm using all the time. I have film in here. I have no idea what's inside. Um, I think it's color, but uh, it's only a few frames left. I will probably uh, put black and white afterwards. I have black and white T-Max in the Leica with the 1.4 lens, again for low light. This is really, if it really gets low light, this is my last uh, resort. And then in this one, I will put, I uh, haven't put anything yet, I will put Portra 400. Um, and I will probably use this only if I really see, okay, this is something special. Uh, because 6, 7, so I have 10 frames. Um, I'll probably have that sort of lying to the side. And when I see, okay, now this is something I want. And probably also something, not a close-up, but something where I want to go a bit further and have a, a larger image. This is probably the camera I'll grab for, for those kind of shots, just because of the added resolution. And as I think also rangefinder lends itself better to take a step back and have a have a larger scene. While you know SLR, you can go in close and, and go more for the portrait uh, kind of styles. But uh, that's what I'm planning. And I'm trying to get the film in here. So this is a uh, Labo Machina 6.7. It's a very unique camera. I love it. It's uh, I think it's just pretty from the design already. But like I said, it's really I can shoot it 2.8, 1 15th of a second in most situations. Where uh, with a with a bigger camera or an SLR, I will not I will not get away with most of the time. Um, yes, that's basically. It. I have two light meters with me mainly for demonstration purposes. So this is my standard one, the spot meter. But I also took a, an incident meter just to maybe later show some, some differences and so forth. Most of the time, but you will see later, probably um, I normally meter a scene once and then I just shoot and then adapt, uh, go up and down a little bit depending how the light is evolving. Um, so I have this with me, but I will use it very, very sparsely. Um, I'd, more or less trust my instinct and have sort of experience for what kind of uh, situation and what light, uh, what settings uh, uh, provide. Then of course I'm shooting negative film, so I try always to lean a little bit on the overexposure side. So that also I don't have to be spot on because it's on slide film or digital, I can really, um, you know, go as, as high as I want and the image will be fine. Black and white you have to be a bit more careful, but color is uh, quite... Uh, uh, easy. So yeah, so, let's get ready.
sign went every, went every direction you're looking. It was beautiful. Well, I'm thinking seven here, maybe hands in the portrait. It was, it'd probably be about this low, but, but yeah, almost as great at the edge. Yeah, we've got some bright light just. And then I'm going to skip back Ooh, and see you on. standing in the light, clear to your feet. Oh, I like this even more. Now look uh, over at me. Oh, I really like this. Beautiful. up tiny bit right there.